Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. I'm Sabagani, your English faculty at Olive Board. I hope I'm audible now. The session is streaming. Good morning, Suresh. Good morning, Prasanjit. Good morning, Apoor. Good morning, everyone. So we will quickly start today's editorial. Good morning, Anshul. How are you guys? Good morning, Miraj. Guys, quickly confirm me if I'm audible and visible to you all. The session is streaming now. Okay, fine. Thank you, everyone. So if I talk about yesterday's homework, yesterday's homework was done by, okay. Thank you, Akshar, for confirming. So yesterday's homework was done by Neeraj, Riyal, ST, Pushpa, Sonali, Anshul, Himanshu Shukla, Arju, Sanjeev Kumar, Abhishek Das, Ravi Shinde, Madhurima, Kumaran Ram. All these people did the homework. What happened to you, Apur? Why didn't you do the homework? Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Arju. Good morning, everyone. So all these people did the homework. I corrected also Jobi Thora Bhat Aapke suggestions the wo sari cheeze maine mention kar diye. Okay, please go through that. Now we will start today's session with a quote that failure is success in progress. I hope you know ki if in achieving your aim once or twice, if you people have to face failure, ki agar ek ya do bar aapko failure ka samna karna padta hai, so that is not basically failure. That is just process in success. Ki wo success ka ek step hota hai. See, there are uh, very rare people ki jahaan par aapko matab ek hi baar mein kuch kiya aur wahi par successful ho gaya hai. Otherwise, maximum people you know ki they first, they have to fail uh, failure and then they taste the success. Okay? Kaafi baar failure, kabhi kabhi ek baar, do baar ya kabhi multiple times bhi failure uh, face karne ke baar, then they get success. But wo jo success hoti hai, that success is that loud ki phir wo har jaga bhoat uh, clear hoti hai. Okay? That is very much obvious, you can say. Known success hoti hai. So never be afraid of failure and don't quit just because of the uh, uh, despair of failure. Ki fail hone ke dar se kabhi bhi kisi bhi cheez ko quit nahi kariyega because it is just a process. Ki success ka ek step hai failure. Okay. So take it in a positive way, don't take it in a negative way. Now those who are new, jo log first time aaya hai. It is my request to you all that please subscribe to our YD channel. Ek ba channel ko subscribe kar dijiye guys. Like this session, share this session with maximum. Session ko like kar dijiye, share kar dijiye maximum ke saath. Okay. And jo log abhi tak Olive Board app download nahi kiye hain, please download it once. Aaj ka app bhi download kar lijiye. Now, if I talk about today's article, ye aapke kaafi, like in many aspects, it is going to be quite important. Ki aaj ka article aapke mohaat saare aspects mein important honne wala hai. In fact, बहुत सारे GA के questions इससे put up हो जाएंगे. So that today's article is also very very important. Okay. So let's start with the revision session. I hope each one of you is ready. ये सब लोग ready है revision session के लिए. Quickly give me a thumbs up so that we can start with the revision session. देखिए glimpse आपका normal है जो हम लोग daily करते हैं. First we will start with the revision session. Then we have vocabs of today's session. आज का session vocab के मामले में बहुत अच्छा है. You will get so many good words, so many good terms for in today's session. Okay, so vocab is going to be very, very uh, rich in today's session. Then we have idioms and phrases also, phrasal verbs also. Complete analysis of today's article, tone and objective, grammar learning and practice exercise. So everything, rest, everything is uh, as usual. Good morning, everyone, guys. Now I hope everyone is ready. Let's start quickly with the revision session. Match these words with their corresponding synonyms or antonyms. Hurry up, guys. All these words are of yesterday's session. Kal ke session ke sare words hain. So, please match these words with their corresponding synonyms or antonyms. As usual, you have 30 seconds. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sanjay, Rajiv, Priyanka, Mera, Safar, Sangeeta. Let me see who gives the first reply. Very good, Arju. Correct. Yes. Now see, pernicious, as I told, pernicious means something that is harmful. Something that is harmful, dangerous, that is called pernicious. So, uh, A will be matched with 2. 
A will be matched with two. Correct. Yes. Correct, Suresh. Correct, Sanjay. Yes. Now, approbation basically we call to approval or praise. Okay, approval from for uh, from someone or praise, appreciation from someone. So that is called approbation. You can also call it appreciation. Okay. So B will be matched with fifth. Then seems as I told seems basically we call to joint. But in yesterday's article we saw that seem we call to weak point or vulnerable point. This is a kamzor point hota, vulnerable point hota, that is called seams, but seams is also called we call to joint. Okay. Seams joint ko bhi kaha jata hai. Correct. So C will be matched with sixth. Achilles heel, of course. Achilles heel, weak point, that is also called seams. Egalitarian, you know, that is called equal, uh, equalitarianism. Means the status of giving everyone, the state of giving everyone equal right. Ki har kisi ko equal right provide karne ke hi term ko egalitarian kaha jata hai. So, D will be matched with first. Okay. In India, we have egalitarian society, we can say. Okay. Because everyone has equal rights. Uh, uh, constitution has given equal rights to each and every person. So, yes, D will be matched with first. Now, pressing basically we call to continuous. Pressing means what? Continuous. Okay. The coach is job to per continuous or a pressing can also be called to critical, urgent. So, all these can be the synonym of persistent. You can say continuous means persistent also. also. So, pressing has all these synonyms. So, it will be used for two. Yes, urgent, critical, persistent, continuous. All these are the synonyms of pressing. All these can be multiple synonyms we have. Okay. Then we have stately. Stately, as I told, it is an adjective. Stately, basically, we use for something very grand, magnificent, grand, extravaganza. That is called stately. Okay. So yes, F will be matched with four. Absolutely correct, guys. F will be matched with four. And laced, I told, laced is already matched. It is what fortified, strengthened, strengthened, strengthened. This we can also use for tying something. Lace word we can also use for tying something. Yes, correct Priyanka. So, for tying something, strengthen, fortify, kisi bhi ko madboot karne ke liye, we use the word lace. Okay. So, these are the words, vocabs of yesterday's session. Now, let's start idioms and phrases. So, all these phrases we saw in yesterday's session. Ye sare ke sare humne dekhe Big fish is basically an idiom that means an important or influential person. So, जो बहुत ही ज़्यादा important या influential person होता है, जो known personality होती है, they are called big fish. Okay? Like prime um, um, minister of any country is a big fish. Okay? Then dwell on, dwell on is a phrasal verb that means think about, discuss at length. किसी भी चीज़ को बहुत ज़्यादा detail में discuss करना, that is called dwell on. Dwelling on something, it means discussing something at large. So that is the meaning of dwell on. Then we have lay out. Lay out is clear to everyone. That is set out, plan for something, explain something clearly. That is called lay out. Teachers lay out the topic. Okay. So they explain something very deeply or clearly. That is called. Yes, Sonali, I have written your name. I corrected it also. Kal aapne kiya tha. And hold back. Yes, hinder, impede, obstruct. These all can be the synonym of hold back. Kisi bhi chiz ko control ka lena, impede karna, obstruct karna, that is called hold back. So, these were the vocabs, phrases of yesterday's session. Ye kal ke session ka revision tha. Now, let's start today's session. Okay. So, as I told, aaj ka session bhi vocab ke point of view se, it is going to be very, very important and good. Okay. Kaafi achche terms aapko aaj milenge. So, let's start. And as usual, guys, because every time I get students, they say, ma'am, vocab yaad nahi hoti. Dekhe, vocab yaad karne wali cheez hi nahi hai. You don't think ki aap vocab ek din mein 10 word, 20 word, agar aap learn bhi kar lete hai, and then if you don't use those words, it is just futile, guys. Wo koi bhi help nahi karega aapko learning. Try to use the words in your daily conversation. Vocabs ko daily use kariye. I have told you multiple ways ki vocab ko apne voice mein record karke, kuch bhi kar rahe ho, usko play kar dije. Jaisa song sunte hai na, apne khud ki voice ki vocab record ki bhi, usko play kar dije. Okay? Because multiple times, it all depends upon how many number of times a word falls onto your ear. Ki kitne baar koi bhi word aapke kaan pe padta hai, utna hi zyada aapko wo yaad hota hai. You know that important word everyone knows. Ko pata hai ki what is the meaning of important? Okay. 
So big fish. Now, if you start using this term big fish, of course you are going to remember these words. So vocab is not a thing to learn. Vocab is just a thing to use it in your use it multiple times. कोई भी चीज जितने ज़्यादा आप use करेंगे उतना ही ज़्यादा वो आपको याद होगा. Notice भी क्या होगा कि कोई word ऐसा होता है जो editorial में suppose तीन चार बार use हो गया है. तो दो तीन दिन के बाद वो आपको ऑटोमेटिक याद हो जाता है बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स यू पीपल हैव हर्ड दैट वर्ड सोनाली दो दिन तक याद रहता है इट इज ओनली बिकॉज आफ्टर टू डेज यू पीपल डोंट रिवाइज दो वर्ड्स रिविजन इंस्टेड ऑफ लर्निंग न्यू वर्ड्स डेली आप दो वर्ड ही नया सीखिए बट पुराने वाले रिवाइज करिए देन ओनली यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेम्बर दीज वर्ड्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन गाइज प्लीज रिपीट ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आफ्टर मी If you want की वो कैब आपको याद हो रिपीट दीज वर्ड आफ्टर वी मेरे साथ साथ बोलिएगा ये वर्ड को आर्टिकुलेट ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड ओके सो द फर्स्ट वर्ड ऑफ टूडे सेशन इज रिवोक नॉ रिवोक मीन्स वर्ड देखिये प्रोवोक यू ऑल नो प्रोवोक सबको पता है कि किसी भी चीज को भड़काना इंसाइट करना ओके भड़काना किसी भी चीज को दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रोवोक ओके बट रिवोक वी कॉल टू ऑफिशियली कैंसल अ डिग्री डिग्री बेसिकली वी कॉल टू ऑर्डर डिग्री वी कॉल टू ऑर्डर okay this is also a good word dec it is not degree it is decree that is we call to order okay so kisi bhi order ko cancel kar dena officially cancel kar dena that is called revoke it is a verb it is a verb okay so it this you can use for abrogate annul nullify nullify all these are the synonyms all these are the synonyms yes clear everyone कि किसी भी ऑर्डर को ऑफिशियली कैंसिल कर देना एप्रोगेट अनल नलिफाई सो ऑल दीज आर द सिनेम्स ऑफ रिवोक यस नलिफाई हैव रिटर्न ऑलरेडी सो ऑल दीज आर द सिनेम्स ऑफ रिवोक ओके देन नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज ग्रूसम ग्रूसम बेसिकली वी कॉल टू बारबेरस क्रूएल अनसिविलाइज सो ऑल दीज आर द सिनेम्स ऑफ ग्रूसम गैस्टली अभी हमने कल एक वर्ड देखा था गैस्टली कल या परसों में ओके okay? so all these can be the synonym or synonym of gruesome okay barbarous cruel uncivilized ghastly so these are the synonyms okay correct manish absolutely correct abrogation of article 370 of kashmir so these ways only you guys can remember the vocab ki kahin par usko relate kar dijiye correct so article ko nullify kar diya gaya cancel kar diya gaya hata diya gaya to of course that is abrogation of article 370 then we have clerical see clerical is one post ye aapko pata hai bank mein clerk ki post hoti hai jo office job hoti hai desk job that is called clerical post but clerical it is also related to clergy you know church wagaira mein jo priest hote hain unse bhi related hota hai this clerical word so this can be used for religious also related to church related to religion this is also called clerical it means religious okay then we have blasphemy Blasphemy basically we call to in Hindi we call it ish nindha. It means saying something unholy about God or religion. If God or religion के बारे में कुछ भी गलत बोलना that is called blasphemy. So blasphemy is a noun whereas it is adjective. It is adjective. Gruesome is adjective. Blasphemous is also adjective. Okay. Now blasphemous can be called sacrilegious, impious, profane, unholy. These all are the synonyms of blasphemy. Okay. He is saying something impious or uh, something wrong about God that is called blasphemy. Okay? कि God के बारे में कुछ गलत बोलना है या religious चीजों के बारे में कुछ गलत बोलना है that is called blasphemy. Okay? Simple example if I give you कि suppose अगर आपने temple में कोई भी flesh रख दिया so that is what that is also an act of sacrilege. Mosque में अगर आप wine वगैरह लेके चले गए so that is also an act of sacrilege okay ki jahan kisi bhi religious place ko aap holy kar dete hain pavitra kar dete hain that is called blasphemy okay then we have retreat retreat you all know usi se bana word hai yes they are same retreat basically you know repeat retreat something repeat you can say move backward all these are the no it is repeat okay retreat so retration is a noun it means the action of repeating something kisi bhi cheez ko bar bar karna bar bar bolna that is called retration it is action of repeating something okay so thus that is called yes repeat then we have regressive regressive is just the antonym of progressive aap aise yaad kar sakte hain 
फिर रिग्रेसिव एंड प्रोग्रेसिव दीज आर टू अपोजिट प्रोग्रेसिव मीन्स मूव टू एन एडवांस स्टेट कि आगे बढ़ने को प्रोग्रेस कहा जाता है रिग्रेसिव मीन्स मूविंग बैकवर्ड और लेस एडवांस स्टेज कि पीछे हटना लेस एडवांस स्टेज पे जाना तो दैट इज कॉल्ड रिग्रेसिव यू कैन लर्न इट विद द एंटेम ऑफ प्रोग्रेसिव ओके प्रोग्रेसिव का अपोजिट क्या होता है रिग्रेसिव प्रोग्रेसिव मीन्स मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एडवांस टू मूविंग टू एन एडवांस स्टेज वेयर एज रिग्रेसिव वी कॉल टू मूविंग टू अस एडवांस स्टेज देन वी हैव द वर्ड हैवॉक हैवॉक यू ऑल नो डिस्ट्रक्शन डिस्ट्रक्शन हैवॉक बेसिकली वी कॉल टू डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ओके medieval is an age you can say now see this is what this is the very very common word rigged basically we call to cause or inflict rigged word basically we call to cause or inflict and this word is often used to wreak havoc ye aapne hamesha dekha hoga ye pairing mein word use hote hain it means cause disaster something jo ek tarah se pura disaster cause kar de so that is called wreak havoc okay Yes. So these two words इसको याद कर लीजिए ये हमेशा पेयर में यूज होते हैं त्याग देता है रिलीजियस और पॉलिटिकल बिलीफ कि जो किसी भी पॉलिटिकल बिलीफ को यस उदित आई हैव करेक्टेड दो डिड द होमवर्क आई करेक्टेड दैट एंड इट विल बी आई डिड यस्टरडेज होमवर्क नॉट आई हैव डिड हैव के साथ तो डिड आ ही नहीं सकता ओके सो इट विल बी सिंपली आई डिड यस्टरडेज होमवर्क सी अपोस्टेट यू कैन से अभी अगर लेटेस्ट एग्जाम्पल दें तो यू कैन कॉल टू नीतीश कुमार नाउ ही लेफ्ट बीजेपी okay so that is what he is an apostate so a person who abandons any particular religious or political belief that is called that person is called apostate okay apostate doesn't mean atheist atheist ka matlab ke jo bhagwan ko manta hi na ho atheist we call to a person jisko nastik kaha jata hai one who does not believe in god apostate means jo abandon kar de any religious political belief or doctrine that is called okay iske liye we also use the word heresy aapne suna hoga so that is also the synonym of apostate heresy then we have the word deprave see deprive is different don't get confused between deprived and depraved deprived means you are deprived section of society deprived means vulnerable okay you can say downtrodden jinko kuch hasil nahi hota hai we deprived means jinko kuch mila na hindi mein we call vanchit jise okay but depraved we call to wicked and immoral so i hope you got the difference between deprived and depraved deprived we vanchit ko kehte hain if you don't get anything you are deprived of something you are deprived of certain things but depraved word we can use for wicked and immoral immoral nature wala correct so that is called depraved it is also an adjective apostate is a noun wick is a verb okay ye verb hai then we have decent See, descent, you know, come down. ये तो सबको पता होगा डिसेंट से बना हुआ है दैट इज कम डाउन डिक्लाइन बट हियर डिसेंट वर्ड हैज बिन यूज एज अ नाउन एंड इट मीन्स लीनियज हेरिडिटी और एंसेस्ट्री कि आप किस आपके जेंट्री क्या है किस आप खानदान से आ रहे हैं सो दैट लीनियज वंश जिसे हिंदी में कहा जाता है सो दैट लीनियज हेरिडिटी एंसेस्ट्री दैट इज कॉल्ड डिसेंट क्लियर सो इट इज यूज एज अ नाउन हियर ये यहाँ पर एज अ नाउन यूज हुआ है then we have the word hardliner hardliner basically we use for extremist person orthodox ki jo kisi bhi cheez ko kutta jise hindi mein kehte hain ki one who is rigid on one's belief ki jo kisi bhi belief ko lekar ke bilkul rigid ho jaye bilkul bhi flexible na ho so that person is called hardliner extremist or orthodox then we have the word fallacious fallacious you know fallacy se bana hua word hai it means untrue false it is a noun it is an adjective guys please repeat yes yeah, sudeep you can say descendants you can say descent descendants yes so in terms of lineage heredity you can use this words we already have doubt group beginner to banker we already have a doubt group okay 
हमारा पहले से डाउट ग्रुप है आस्क योर डाउट विद सभा मैम सो यू कैन ज्वाइन दैट डाउट ग्रुप सो मेनी टाइम्स आई शेयर द लिंक fallacious basically we call to false untrue okay so fallacy we can also use for fiction fallacy word we can also use for fiction so this is an adjective false untrue then we have the word dictum so dictum we call to decree statement abhi maine decree ka matlab bataya tha order so dictum decree decree statement order these all are synonyms ye sare ke sare synonyms hote hain order ke liye use kiya jata hai decree of government it means government ka order hai dictum of government statement of government so all these words are used for this it is a noun okay then we have edict now see edict proclamation order dictum decree All these are synonyms. Statement, ये सारे के सारे वर्ड किसके लिए यूज हो रहे हैं ऑर्डर के लिए सो फॉर वन ऑर्डर ये जो ऑर्डर हम लोग देते हैं ना कि गवर्नमेंट हैज पास एन ऑर्डर सो फॉर वन दैट ऑर्डर यू हैव दीज मेनी वर्ड प्रोक्लेमेशन ऑर्डर डिक्टम डिक्री स्टेटमेंट ऑल दीज आर दिनिम्स ओके एडिक्ट क्लियर गाइज सो दीज ऑल आर सिनेम्स यू कैन से एडिक्ट इज ऑल्सो अनाउंड कमांड यस All these are synonyms. Command. See, ये जो word होते हैं ना जैसे edict, verdict, ये जो मिलते जुलते terms होते हैं ना ये ज्यादा confuse करते हैं exam में. Like अभी मैंने आपको बताया था deprived and depraved. So these words they are very close. So if you don't know the exact meaning, you will always be confused. Okay. Then we have the word bait. Bait is also a good word. It is used as a verb. It means demanded, urged, call for something. किसी भी चीज की डिमांड करना अर्ज करना कॉल फॉर समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड बेड ओके सो डिमांडेड अर्ज कॉल फॉर दिस ऑल अदर्स एन एन एनी गेस व्हाट दिस आर्टिकल इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट एनी गेस अन इक्विवोकली इट मींस क्लियरली विदाउट एनी डाउट अन इक्विवोकल मींस कि जहां पर सबके सेम ओपिनियन हो जहां पर किसी का कोई दूसरा ओपिनियन हो ही ना सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अन क्वली क्लियरली विदाउट एनी डाउट यूनानिमसली ऑल्सो यू कैन से जहां पर किसी को कोई डाउट ना हो इवोकेबल इवोकेबल मीन समथिंग दैट इज फाइनल समथिंग दैट इज इवर्सेबल अनऑल्ट्रेबल जिसे चेंज ना किया जा सके कोर्ट केस नो सजेशन टोन टोन कहां से तो आर्टिकल देखा ही नहीं टोन आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग आर्टिकल किसके बारे में होने वाली है एनी गेस Irreversible, final, unalterable that cannot be changed. जिसे change ना किया जा सके My decree is irrevocable. It means की मेरी जो order है that is irrevocable. It means इसको change नहीं किया जा सकता Okay? So something that cannot be changed that is called irrevocable. Hmm. So these were the vocabs of today's session. I hope हर word आपको clear हो गया है Now let's see idioms and phrases. So the first idiom we have is man of words. Man of words means a reliable person, a person who keeps his words. कि जो अपने promises को पूरा करता है, अपने words को याद रखता है, so a reliable person जिसपे आप trust कर सकते हैं, that is called man of words. And we have one more idiom that we call man of letters. Man of letters we call to. See, man of letters is a different thing. Man of words is a different thing. Man of words you can say a reliable person, one who keeps his words. and man of letters basically we call to scholar literate person author ye author vagara jo hote hain jo literate hote hain padhe likhe hote hain they are called man of letters okay yes so scholar author they are called man of letters good sonali then we have drive underground drive someone or something underground it means suppress someone to put an end to kisi ko suppress kar dena kisi cheez ko khatam kar dena that is called drive underground so it can be used for a person also someone or somebody something someone or something so this for this we use drive underground that is called suppress or to put an end to something correct manish yes man of words means trustworthy man of letters means scholar man of street means what ordinary person okay yes subhashan yes you can use man of words okay now we have phrasal verbs hunt down hunt down basically we call to chase someone kisi ka jab tak use khoj na le tab tak uska picha karte rehna it is not only for searching someone it is what search for something until one finds it 
इट कैन बी समथिंग इट कैन बी अ पर्सन ऑल्सो इट कैन बी समथिंग और समवन किसी का तब तक पीछा करना जब तक आप उसे पा ना ले सो इट कैन ऑल्सो मीन टू सक्सीड इन फाइंडिंग कि किसी को खोजने में जैसे क्रिमिनल वगैरह को पुलिस हंट डाउन की वो तब तक खोजती है जब तक वो मिल ना जाए सो हंटिंग डाउन इज वॉट चेजिंग समवन चेजिंग समवन दैट इज कॉल्ड हंटिंग डाउन ओके सो वी विल कम टू आर्टिकल बट बिफोर दैट गाइज those who are new those who want to join olibot platform so we have multiple courses that we run on olibot platform that like banking light banking elite banking super elite but as i always suggest the best buy plan on olibot is banking super elite especially for freshers agar aap abhi first time exam de de rahe hain ya dene wale hain exam so for freshers this banking super elite course is going to be extremely helpful because yahan par aapko sare mock test milte hain मेंस लेवल के सेक्शनल लेवल के एडवांस लेवल के सो so प्री से लेकर के मेंस तक की सारी चीज आपकी कवर होती है प्लस यू हैव एक्सेस ऑफ मल्टीपल कोर्सेज जो भी कोर्स ऑलीबोर्ड प्लेटफॉर्म पे लाइव होता है या जो लाइव होने वाला है ऑल दोज कोर्सेज यू यू कैन इजिली एक्सेस ऑल दोज कोर्सेज आप वो सारी के सारे क्लासेज अटेंड कर सकते हैं एंड अटेंडिंग मल्टीपल क्लासेज मीन्स वॉट की देखिए स्टार्टिंग में आपको मल्टीपल क्लासेज अटेंड करना चाहिए वंस यू नो के नहीं आपकी प्रिपरेशन पूरी कंप्लीट हो गई है देन यू नीड ओनली प्रैक्टिस सो फॉर प्रैक्टिस मॉक टेस्ट विल हेल्प and for your preparation these classes will help you okay so please join this banking super elite course okay and for purchasing anything on olibot platform use my code sabha abhi humne abps rrb po ka bhi batch start kiya hai okay the final batch so we have started this batch also so for purchasing anything on olibot platform whether whether, whether it is computer certificate course ya fir aap koi pdf mock khareedna chahte hain ya fir kuch bhi aap olibot platform pe purchase karna chahte hain Do remember to use my code Saba to get additional discount. Okay? ये code use करेंगे ऐसे भी ये Saba तो आपको additional discount मिल जाएगा. And then those who have not joined my Telegram group, please join Learn English with Saba. This is the general group, general channel जहाँ पर मैं सारे classes की PDF और vocab share करती हूँ. जो भी important information होती है, uh, dates होते हैं classes से related, everything I share on this group that is Learn English with Saba. I have created one more doubt. मुझे लगता है कि अभी भी बहुत लोगों को नहीं पता दैट इज आस्क योर डाउट ओके सो दिस डाउट हियर यू कैन आस्क योर डाउट यहाँ पे आपको एक्सेस दे रखा है मैंने तो यहाँ पर आप आराम से अपने डाउट पूछ सकते हैं इफ यू है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज आर्टिकल एंड आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू बी ऑल ईयर्स ऑल ईयर्स मीन्स टू बी वेरी वेरी अटेंटिव कि हम सब चाहते हैं कि सब लोग अटेंटिव हो बिकॉज टूडेज आर्टिकल इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके I'm giving you two minutes quickly go through this so that you get an idea that what this article is going to be about. काफी important article है international point of view से और काफी पहले से ये चली आ रही है. So please go through this ones quickly. Not Parliament law. Go through this. You might have seen that. Uh, from the last four five days, this news is this is a burning topic, okay? Or its got kafi pichle se relation hai, so that is very very important. This article is going to be for you all. Just ek baar thoda sa idea first paragraph ka mil gaya apko ki what this article is going to be about. Otherwise, everything I will uh, explain. Ha, huh, this is the Hindu only. Coming to that, patwa. it is not an english word but why is urdu word okay let's start taking responsibility on salman rushdi attack in new york okay now first of all let me tell you the context of this ye complete jo cheeze hui hain yes so this let me tell you you know salman rushdi is a very 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 prominent author ye bahut hi zyada इम्पॉर्टेंट और बहुत ही फेमस ऑथर है सलमान रुश्दी इनकी दो बुक है दैट इज वर्ल्ड फेमस वन इज मिड नाइट चिल्ड्रेन मिड नाइट चिल्ड्रेन ये जी ए का आई होप की नंबर ऑफ टाइम दिस बुक दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आस्ड इन जी ए ये जो बुक एंड ऑथर्स आते हैं ना सो वंस अगेन दिस हैज बिकम अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट मिड नाइट चिल्ड्रेन हैज बिन रिटर्न बाई सलमान रुश्दी एंड द सैटेनिक वर्सेज थोड़ा सा मैं इसका बैकग्राउंड आपको बता देती हूँ सो दैट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस आर्टिकल ओके सो द सैटेनिक वर्सेस एंड मिडनाइट चिल्ड्रन दीज आर हिस्ट टू वर्ल्ड फेमस यू कैन से की राइटिंग्स ओके 
Now, Midnight Children तो ठीक था. Satanic verses when he published this, so Satanic verses को लेकर के काफी ज़्यादा इसपे dispute हुआ था, काफी ज़्यादा इसपे argument हुए थे Satanic verses, because it was termed as कि यहाँ पर एक particular group के religion को ये hurt करती है, sentiments के उनके religious sentiment को वो hurt करती है. Satan verses when it was released, तो इसपे काफी ज़्यादा जो है वो हुआ था. In fact, India में तो ये ban कर दिया गया था उस time. Rajiv Gandhi, he was the Prime Minister at that time and he banned this satanic verses in India, okay? In fact, who was the author who was publishing it, so people also had a lot of attack on the publishers and on the print because this was a particular group of religious sentiment. What happened in Iran? In Iran, at that time, the president or the president, the president, they also said, Salman Rushdi ko matlab unho ne bol diya ta ki inko murder, inka murder kar dena chahi hai. Because he has hurt that sentiment of the people. Ki unho ne logo ke sentiment ko hurt kiya ta. So ye 30 years back ka ye case hai. 30 years se Salman Rushdi pe bohut saare loog in se matlab he people are not happy. And just because of his book that is satanic verses. Or 30 years ke baad bhi unke upar jo attack hua hai to uska relation sirf or sirf is se hai. So now you know that on the 12th of August, he was attacked, gruesome attack on them. Okay? So this attack means that it is so severe that his liver is damaged. Even he is going to, doctors are saying that he can even lose one of his eyes. So he can also open his eyes. So it is a very cruel attack on them. This attack is in relation to 30 years back. So this article is going to be about the attack. The recent attack on Salman Rushdi. About that attack, it is going to be and about taking responsibility. The attack is who is going to take responsibility and all these things this article is about. Okay. I hope it is clear. Now, taking responsibility on Salman Rushdie attack in New York. New York, New York, he was going to deliver his speech. And what happened, ma'am? Uh, if I didn't get you, uh, in which context are you asking? So uh, he was attacked on 12th of August. Abhi recently unka attack hua hai. And this attack, like, it is very, very severe attack. Okay. So this attack has been criticized worldwide. Pure world mein is attack ko criticized kya gaya hai. So, yes, controversial author, you can say. Iran might not, might not be directly involved in the attack on Rishdi, but it must revoke the fatwa. Look, I have told you that when this book released with the satanic verses, at that time, fatwa here means order. Fatwa basically we call to order. Okay, it is an Arabic, uh, you can say, yes, Urdu term it is. Fatwa is an order, it is an Urdu term. Okay, so uh, revoke means cancel, nullify. Ab ye jo attack hua hai, it is not, uh, matlab, Iran ka usme direct jo hai, usse koi relation nahi hai. Okay, there is no relation ki Iran ne attack karwaya hai. But Iran should nullify the order. कि उसने जो 30 years back order दिया था सलमान रुशदी के murder के लिए, now it must revoke, must nullify because वो जो Iran ने order pass किया था, उससे काफी ज़्यादा right हुए थे उस time पर भी और अभी तक people are following that. Okay? So Iran now it must nullify, it must cancel that fatwa कि जो उसने order दिया था, उसको उसे cancel करना होगा. Poor, please check your connection because I'm audible to others. Yes, correct, Manish. The Iranian foreign ministries comment that only Salman Rushdie and his supporters were to be blamed for the gruesome knife attack on the author in New York State last week is another retreation of clerical establishment's well-known regressive position on the Rush on, on the Rushdie affair. Satanic Verses is the book name, Manoj. It is the book name of, it is the name of book of Salman Rushdie. It is very, very controversial book, Satanic Verses. And that is why it is uh, this uh, famous. So, abhi dekhe, recently, even after attack, abhi jo itna gruesome attack hua hai. So, after that attack also, Iran ke jo foreign, uh, foreign ministry hai, he has commented that ki, for this attack, Salman Rushdie and his supporters are only blamed. Matlab, they have to be only blamed. कि उन्हें ही ब्लेम करना चाहिए, ओके? Now this comment is again the repetition कि ये फिर से repetition है of the clerical establishments. Clerical means religious. कि still people are prioritizing religion more. कि वो religion को ज़्यादा prioritize कर रहे हैं. Well known regressive position on the Rusty affair. और ये क्या है कि अभी से मतलब जो position थी सलमान रुशदी की ईरान में 30 years back 
अभी भी वो उसी स्टेज पे उससे बैकवर्ड स्टेज पे जा रही देर इज नो प्रोग्रेस कि अभी भी सलमान रुशदी इज ट्रीटेड एज अ क्रिमिनल इन ईरान ओके सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज अगेन आर रेपिटेशन ऑफ द रिलीजियस एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ओके वेरी ऑर्थोडॉक्स एस्टेब्लिशमेंट The 1989 फतवा अगेन रश्दी अब देखिए ये 1989 में ये फतवा वो हुआ था के रश्दी के फतवा मीन्स ऑर्डर ये किसके खिलाफ ऑर्डर पास हुआ था रश्दी के खिलाफ इशूड बाई ईरान देन सुप्रीम लीडर आयोतल्ला खोमिनी बिकॉज ही बिलीव द ऑथर सैटेनिक वर्सेज वॉज ब्लैस फेमस हैज ऑलरेडी रीग इन अफ क्रॉस द वर्ल्ड अब ये जो फतवा जारी हुआ था सलमान रुस्ती के खिलाफ ये ईरान के सुप्रीम लीडर जो थे उस टाइम आयतुल्ला खोमिनी सो ही रेस दैट फतवा उन्होंने फतवा जारी किया था ओके ऑर्डर पास किया था ही पास दिस ऑर्डर बिकॉज ही बिलीव बिकॉज ही बिलीव दैट ऑथर सैटेनिक वर्सेस दिस इज द नेम ऑफ अ बुक इट वाज ब्लैस्फेमस ब्लैस्फेमस यू नो अनहोली एम्पायर्स इट वाज अ What, it was hurting the sentiments of Muslims. Okay, so he considered this as blasphemous, and this fatwa, this order, has already wreaked enough havoc across the world. It means it has already caused much disaster. कि ये जो ऑर्डर उन्होंने पास किया था उससे काफी ज़्यादा डिजास्टर हो चुका है already 1989 से लेकर के. Okay. was a rare instance of a leader of a country issuing an extra territorial territorial death sentence against an author who was living in another country by invoking his pan islamist belief and clerical authority now this is just one rare instance rare incident ki ye apne aap mein ek pehla incident aisa hoga ki jahan par kisi bhi nation ke leader he is issuing death warrant death sentence for a person who is not living in his country ki uske country mein wo person reh bhi nahi raha hai uh, you know ki uh, salman rushdi is uh, he resides in uk he is born in india okay native india ke hai but uh, he stays in uk okay so what matlab he is in uk and he is passing death sentence against this person being in iran iran ko lekar ke ye pass kar raha hai correct Just using and what did he use? He invoked his pan-Islamist belief that the Islam that religion, who he has used, and religion's basis, he has he has ordered death sentence against him. Dozens were killed in riots. Us time par bhi bahut zada riots hue the. Death sentence means what? Or uh, death? Death sentence means death ki saza. Okay? Ek hota na ki dekhte hi matlab uh, kill kill Salman Rushdie. So that is called death sentence. Okay? so that time also dozens were killed in riots us time bhi kafi riot wagara hua tha and that time also many people died in that riots the books translators and publishers were attacked i have already told you now the people who translated these book this book that is satanic verses and those who published the book they were also attacked publishers translators everyone was attacked it drove rushdi underground for years ki kafi dino tak rushdi ko suppress kar diya gaya tha ki matlab wo bahar nikalte hi nahi the unhone uske baad kafi jahan dekho maar do correct so it drove rushdi underground for years ki kafi dino tak unko suppress kar diya gaya tha ki wo bahar hi nahi nikal rahe the okay 30 years later ab dekhiye ye 1989 ki baat hai and now again 30 years later rushdi was attacked by a 24 year old american citizen of lebanese descent descent means you know okay who social media accounts are reportedly filled with pro khomeini and pro iran content now after 30 years rushdi was attacked by a 24 year old american citizen jo attack kiya hai person he is an american citizen of lebanese descent ke lebanese se wo aata hai okay who social now this person this boy his social media accounts are reportedly filled with pro khomeini and pro iran content it means he was supporter of khomeini and he was supporter of iran so that is why he was influenced by the uh, order passed by uh, this ayatollah and that is why he attacked this uh, rashti okay iran has denied any role no iran has denied any role ki iran ne saaf saaf bol diya ki iska is attack se koi relation nahi hai Iran ne kahin par bhi attack nahi kara it has no connection with this attack it is astonishing although it has denied any role it is astonishing that Iran could not even issue a statement condemning the attack and the attacker ki it has denied any role ki usne bol diya ki uska is role matlab is attack se koi lena dena nahi hai it doesn't have to do anything but it is surprising this attack has been condemned worldwide 
पूरे वर्ल्ड के लीडर्स ने इस अटैक को कंडेम किया है बिकॉज सलमान रुश्दी इज सच अ ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी बट ईरान डिडेंट इशू इवन अ स्टेटमेंट कंडेमिंग द अटैक और अटैकर कि ईरान ने इस स्टेट इस अटैक को कंडेम करते हुए क्रिटिसाइज करते हुए कोई भी स्टेटमेंट जारी नहीं किया वर्ड्स pro state media in iran applauded the courageous and duty conscious man who attacked the apostate and deprived salman rushdie in new york and they didn't criticize this attack but iran media iranian jo media hai they applauded wo usko praise karti hai the courageous and duty conscious man who attacked the person now they have praised person the boy who attacked the apostate means you know heretic non believer okay एंड डिप्रेव सलमान रुश्ती इन न्यूयॉर्क की जिसने उनको अटैक किया है और उन्हें डिप्रेव कर दिया डिप्रेव मीन्स आई टोल यू डिप्राइव इज एन अदर थिंग डिप्रेव इज एन अदर थिंग यस अपोस्टेट यू कॉल टू बिट्रेयर हेरेटिक ऑल दीज अदर सिनेम्स वन हु रिनाउंसेज ऑल रिलीजियस बिलीव दैट इज कॉल्ड पोस्टेट एंड सलमान रुश्दी इन न्यूयॉर्क फर्स्ट ईरान गवर्नमेंट है स्टेट अवे फ्रॉम कॉमनिस्ट फतवा यस pro state means very active pro basically we call to active okay so jo iran ko lekar ke kafi zyada this jo active hain jo jo active media in iran it applauded the courageous and duty conscious man ki usne us person ko praise kiya hai who attacked this heretic apostate non believer and depraved depraved means immoral salman rushdie as per them salman rushdie is immoral okay corrupt he is depraved we call to immoral depraved we call to corrupt okay morally one the person who is corrupt morally jo corrupt hota wicked you can say wicked okay so these all are the synonyms yes in the past iran's government had stayed away from uh, communist fatwa so stayed away means ki पास्ट में अगर आप देखेंगे तो ईरान ने अब ये जो ऑर्डर रिलीज हुआ था इससे उन्होंने डिस्टेंस बना लिया था ओके दे वर नॉट दैट मच इन्वॉल्व इन दिस 1998 कमल खराजी फॉरेन मिनिस्टर इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ रिफॉर्मिस्ट प्रेसिडेंट मोहम्मद खतामी अनाउंस्ड इन न्यूयॉर्क दैट ईरान वुड नॉट अटेम्प टू कुल रश्मी फिर में जब वहां पर प्रेसिडेंट चेंज हुआ तो फॉरन मिनिस्टर ने ये न्यूयॉर्क में एक्सेप्ट भी किया था उन्होंने ये डिक्लेयर किया था कि जो है ईरान वो सलमान रुश्दी को किल करने का कोशिश नहीं करेगा बिकॉज नॉर्थ प्रेसिडेंट हैज चेंज्ड ओके गवर्नमेंट हैज चेंज्ड एज इट वाज जनरली इंटरप्रेटेड एज एन इनफॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल रिवोकेशन रिवोकेशन मींस कैंसिलेशन ऑफ द फतवा यूके नॉर्मलाइज टाइज विद द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक नो was considered ki matlab jo inhone kaha tha jo inhone statement diya tha ki now iran would not attempt to kill rushdi so was interpreted as informal cancellation of the fatwa ki jo unhone fatwa jari kiya tha usko ek informal cancellation samajh liya gaya ki unhone us fatwa ko nullify kar diya khatam kar diya hai so after that uk normalized ties ties means what relationship ki uk mein hi rehte the to uk ne fir se relationship wapas kar liye matlab theek kar liye apne relationship ko mend kar liya with islamic republic okay but hardliners hardliners means what orthodox extremist extremist tightened their grip on iran's institutions one khatami's two term came to an end in 2005 ab dekhiye ab jo extremist the wo mauke ke talash mein the now they tightened their grip on iran's institutions ki wo apni grip ko aur zyada control matlab mazboot kar liye one once this khatami's two term ki inka jo presidency tha wo khatam ho gaya 2005 mein in the same year ayatollah khamenei repeated communist position that rushdie was an uh, uh, salman rushdie was a postate who killing would be authorized by islam if it 2005 me dekhi ye kitna controversial topic hai okay 1989 se lekar ke aaj tak ye topic utna hi controversial hai to jaise hi ye khatamis jo unhone is uh, order ko cancel kiya tha unhone bola tha ki now they iran would not attempt to kill rushdie jaise hi unka term complete hua unki presidency chali gayi orthodox we call to qatar in hindi we call it qatar जो अपने किसी भी थॉट्स को लेकर के बहुत ही ज्यादा फर्म होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्थोडॉक्स सो अगेन सलमान रुश्दी वाज कॉल्ड एन अपोस्टेट हु स्किलिंग वुड बी ऑथराइज्ड बाय इस्लाम इफ इट्स ऑन उन्होंने ये बोल दिया कि ही इज एन अपोस्टेट कि ये एक जो है नॉन बिलीवर है इस्लाम के 
ऑफकोर्स इन्होंने आ, मतलब कि जो इस्लाम में जो भी डॉक्ट्रीन है जो भी रूल्स है उसको उन्होंने अबेंडन कर दिया है ही हैज हर्ट द सेंटिमेंट ऑफ द पीपल ही हैज हर्ट हर्ट रिलीजियस सेंटिमेंट सो हिस्स किलिंग वुड बी ऑथोराइज बाई इस्लाम इनको जो है इनको मारना इनकी किलिंग जो है इट इज कम्प्लीटली फेयर दे हैव सेड 2019 ayatollah's twitter account was briefly suspended after he said the fatwa was solid and irrevocable 2019 mein ayatollah ka twitter account fir se suspend kar diya gaya tha thodi din ke liye because again he said the same thing ki ye jo order hai unka jo religious order hai unka that is solid that is firm and irrevocable it means that cannot be changed to se change nahi kiya ja sakta it is firm the edict edict again means order so all these words fatwa edict proclamation all these words have been used for order only edict clearly made matter worse for rashti ab ye jo order aaya fir se isne rashti ke liye situation ko aur kharab kar diya but it did not stop him from writing ki isne situation kharab kiya unke liye because now he has to be very very conscious ki wo kahin par bhi bahar jate the to unko safety wagera bahut zyada dhyan rakhna padta tha but it did not stop him from writing lekin unhone likhna band nahi kiya He wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest fiction and essays during this period. Okay, this period, this period, he wrote some of the finest Okay, but fallacious means what? Imaginary, false, dictum. Christopher Hitchens ne ek uh, statement diya tha ki jo uh, jo ki false hai, aur unka kya hai ki imagination like certain wild animals will not breed in captivity. Ki jo imagination hota hai, it is like a wild animal. Jaise wild animal can't be kept uh, can't be kept in chain. Ki jisko chain mein nahi rakha ja sakta. उसी तरह से इमेजिनेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी वाइल्ड एंड इमेजिनेशन कांट कांट प्रोग्रेस इन कैप्टिविटी कि वो कैप्टिविटी में अगर आप उसको कैद कर देंगे तो इमेजिनेशन जो है वो ज्यादा जमिनेट नहीं करेगी सो सलमान रुशदी ही हैज डिस दिस स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज वेन वॉज इन दैट वेन ही वॉज in his house he was confined to certain limit that time only he wrote some of his best fictions ki usi time pe unhone sabse acha apne fiction likha tha So Rusty continued to live under the Ayatollah's sword, but remained a champion of the freedoms he believed in. He, वो जो है थोड़ा सा डर में रहते थे. मतलब every time he has this thing, every time he has this fear कि मतलब उनको कभी भी कोई भी मार सकता है. But he remained a champion of freedoms he believed in. लेकिन writing में जो उन्हें freedom चाहिए थी, वो उसी तरह से लिखते थे जैसा वो पहले लिखा करते थे. Something which those who begged for his blood never managed to reconcile with. and those who bait for his blood means ki those who urged those who demanded ki jo log unki life lena chahte the they could never manage they could never reconcile with his the freedom of his writing ki unhe unke writing ke freedom pasand hi nahi the and that is why they couldn't come on common terms this proving means uh, making something false okay proof ka matlab kya hota hai kisi bhi cheez ko uh, proof kar dena okay to consider something right This proving means किसी भी चीज को गलत साबित कर देना ईरान मे नॉट है डायरेक्ट रोल इन दैट एक्ट देखिए ईरान रिकनसाइल मीन्स टू बी इन रिकनसाइल बेसिकली वी कॉल टू टू बिकम फ्रेंड्स बिकम फ्रेंड्स रिकनसाइल का मतलब वापस में मिल जाना फ्रेंड्स हो जाना फिर से फ्रेंडशिप कर लेना दैट इज कॉल रिकनसाइल Iran may not have a direct role in the attack. Because okay, this attack may Iran's direct role not be there. It may be possible. But as the fatwa issued by the leader of its revolution has hunted down this harmless man of words over for over three decades, Iran has the moral responsibility at least now, when he is recovering from serious wound, to revoke the fatwa and revocably condemn the attack. Okay? That it is that Iran has not attacked this attack. Iran has no direct role in this attack. But ये जो फतवा जो ऑर्डर इन्होंने इशू किया है जो इनके लीडर ने इशू किया है दैट हैज हंटेड डाउन मतलब जो इसका पीछा कर रहे सलमान रुश्ती का दिस हार्मलेस मैन बिकॉज उन्होंने किसी का ऐसे पर्सन कोई हार्म नहीं किया है ओके फॉर ओवर थ्री डिकेट्स ओके मतलब पिछले थर्टी फोर थर्टी ईयर्स से ये चीजें चली आ रही है 
now iran has the moral responsibility at least now when he is recovering ki right now he is recovering from serious wounds because he has been attacked now he is in hospital he is on ventilator okay so to revoke fatwa it means iran must cancel the fatwa and unequivocally unequivocally means what ki ek saath okay it should condemn the attack कि इसे अटैक को विदाउट एनी डाउट ईरान शुड आल्सो कंडेम द अटैक लाइक द अदर वर्ल्ड द एंटायर वर्ल्ड हैज डन सी दिस इज दिस लाइन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ये थोड़ा सा लिटरेरी लाइन है आई एम टेलिंग यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एंटायर लाइन सी यहां से आप यहां तक देखेंगे ये पूरे लाइन को देखेंगे आप लोग ओके दिस इज रियली अ वेरी गुड लाइन यहां पर हिडन मीनिंग है देखिए दिस इज व्हाट यू शुड लर्न फ्रॉम The order, ये जो ऑर्डर आया था कि आ, इनको सलमान रुश्दी को मारने का दैट मेड मैटर्स वर्स फॉर रुश्दी कि इन्होंने सलमान रुश्दी के लिए मैटर को मतलब उनके जो भी सिचुएशन था उसको और ज्यादा खराब कर दिया बट इट डिड नॉट स्टॉप हिम फ्रॉम राइटिंग बट ऐसा नहीं था कि सिचुएशन खराब हो गया तो वो डर गए ही स्टॉप राइटिंग नो ही डिडेंट राइट ही डिडेंट स्टॉप हिम फ्रॉम राइटिंग ओके He wrote some of his finest fiction and essays during this period. कि when he was confined, when he was not that free to roam around the world, he was confined to certain places. So that time he wrote one of his finest essays and fictions. Okay, just proving the Christopher Hitchens put it. Now Christopher Hitchens he he gave one statement that and that statement is considered often it is considered false. Okay. That imagination, like certain wild animals, will not breed in captivity. As per Christopher Hitchens, it means imagination is quite wild. Imagination will breed; it will flourish when a person is very free. कि कोई person अगर बहुत ज़्यादा free है, if he is not in any bondage or captivity, then only person will be able to imagine. Okay? But Salman Rushdie disproved this statement because his imaginations, his writing imaginations, they flourished even though he was in captivity. okay so we confined at that time also he uh, he wrote some of his science fiction now i hope the entire article is very clear and this entire article is very 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 important guys because you know this is such uh, this is such an issue jo pichle 30 years se continuous chal raha hai uh vulat is there anything uh, else that you want me to explain actually it is bilingual class so i have to uh, keep a mix of in english and hindi but is there anything else that you want me to explain i will explain for you Now, guys, what is the tone of the article? What is the tone of the article? Yes, he is alive. Now he has been attacked. No, he has been attacked. He is on ventilator. But as per doctor, his wounds are like they can be recovered. Okay, uh, so his wounds can be healed. Yes, informative and critical. The attack has been criticized. it is informative the complete information has been given by the author from last 30 years till now so everything has been uh, everything has been told by author in a very very good way okay and yes all these fatwas and other things he has criticized also okay yes suggestion last line is suggestion correct arju last few lines that is suggestion when the author is urging iran that uh, he must now revoke the fatwa and it must Uh, condemn the attack okay so yes critical you say criticizing one it has provided you the complete information okay so it is informative and critical last few lines the last few lines are suggestion now what is wrong here guys quickly find the error what is incorrect here heading also suggestive yes correct concerned no we can't say that is just a few lines of course okay that is just a few lines see as i told tone varies passage to passage so in examination also no one is going to ask you the tone of the entire paragraph i generally author ask the tone of one particular passage one particular paragraph because tone varies okay. manoj is saying d freedom where is freedom is correct 
question. Some are saying C. Akshit, I've already explained it so many times. Yes, sometime, uh, yes, definitely I will explain it once again. But I already did it. What is wrong in C, D part, guys? Just don't guess it. Tell me what is incorrect. Rajdi continued to live under Ayutala's sword. It is absolutely correct. Raise correct. But remain, it is past. It is past. Remain a champion of freedoms he believed in. Okay. But he never, uh, you can say, he never compensated with the freedom. He was not apne freedom ko kabhi bhi compensate nahi kya. Okay. So he always enjoyed the freedom he believed in. Your writing mo ne freedom chahiye hota tha, wo humesha usko believe karte the. Okay. Something which, something which those who bear for this which is relative pronoun and those is demonstrative word. So antecedent of who is those. So it is correct. Something which those who bear for, bear for means what supported, uh, uh, sorry, urged for, called for, bear for means what called for. His blood, ki jo log unke khun ke piyase the, those who wanted to take their life, his life, those who wanted to take his life, never managed to reconcile for is incorrect, reconcile with. Reconcile is followed by preposition with, not for. Okay? Correct, Sonali. Absolutely correct. Reconcile with. Correct, Akshit. Yes, Manish. So, the error is in D part. Instead of for, it should be with. Okay? They, they, these people, those, for those, it has been used for these people, the people who they wanted to take Salman Rushdie's life, they never managed to reconcile with, come on a plentier term with the freedom he believed in writing. Okay? He, they were not ready to accept the freedom of his writing. They wanted to hurt karte. So that is the meaning. Now, as usual, this is the homework. See, we have got so many good words in today's article. I want you all to go through those words. Article is also very important. Remember those two books named Satanic Verses and Midnight Children. Those two books are the world famous book and uh, satanic verses is again a very, very important question for your coming examinations because again this topic is highlighted and it is an international matter. This particular state related to India. India is born, he resides in UK, Iran order declared this order, all these things, the name of the president Ayatollah Khomeini. So, all these things are very, very important for your current affairs point of view also, okay? And besides, this article is important for your descriptive also. You might get something to write on freedom of writing or something like that for this descriptive also. So, this is an important article. Please go through this, okay? So, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. We'll meet at 9 a.m. Today, I have brought some mains level question, good level questions at 9 a.m. session, okay? So, uh, please join 9 a.m. session, everyone. So, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. We'll meet at 9.